What makes ProPresenter 7 so good for streaming is its ability to send the same content in different formats to multiple outputs. So here I have a song and when I click on the first slide, and then I click on the second slide, you can see the background and the lyrics show up on my output window. I wanna send the motion background with the lyrics in the middle of the screen to the main out, and then the lyrics as lower thirds with no background to the stream out. I also have a stage display out or a confidence monitor, you might call it, which is a different layout being sent to screens for the band or viewed on the stage display app. We can send the text in different formats to various outputs because of a feature called audience looks. When I open the looks window, you see two outputs, main out and stream out. Note that the stage display out is not here because the content for that output gets handled elsewhere in ProPresenter 7. Before we get into the looks editor, however, I wanna take a look at the theme editor, which is where we need to decide what our screen layouts are gonna look like. So let's click more theme editor to open up this editor. So here you can see I have layouts for main out worship, which is centered text that is a bit larger and also has a drop shadow. I also have a theme for stream out worship, which is lower third text with a black border around it. A lot of people ask me about how I set up these black borders around the text because it makes it so much easier using this to show lyrics on your live stream. So to create this look, here's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and copy this text and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a new slide in the theme editor. I'm gonna double click, cop paste the text in and I'm gonna to go to shape and I'm gonna to go to fill and I'm gonna create a black fill and then I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna to go to lines only which is gonna reduce the border size to the size of the text. So now this vertical padding, if you change it to any negative number, it's gonna drag the, make the boxes smaller. So you can play around with how exactly you wanna use this but uh, we also have some options full width, line width, which will make it only as wide as the text, or max line width, which will make all of the lines as, as wide as the widest line. We can also do full width, and the reason it's not going all the way to the edge here is because I need to drag this box all the way to the edge. And now we can just drag it down and make it a lower third, and now it is ready to use on our live stream. So now we can reopen the audience looks editor and open this by selecting screens, edit looks. Here we can decide what layers get sent to each output, as well as what theme gets applied to each output. I can go ahead and apply the theme we just created to the stream output. Go to worship, click on presentation, default, stream out, worship. Now as long as this look is live and there is text on the output, this theme will cause the text to look like what we set up. When we have multiple outputs like this, if I don't apply a theme to one of the outputs here in the looks editor, then the output is going to be the same as what is in our presenter view. This is nice though, because I can preset up the stream to use the stream theme. Then for example, if you have a volunteer setting up slides for the main screen, they might not even realize that they're also sending lower third lyrics to the stream. A better example though, because I always want my operators to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. A better way to make this useful is to apply a theme to both the main out as well as the stream out inside the looks editor. Then the format of text on the operator screen won't affect any of the outputs. So let's apply a theme that automatically makes the text on the operator screen as large as it can be. To do this, go into the theme editor, more theme editor, and we're gonna create a new slide called big boy. I'm gonna add some text and now I'm going to make the text box at the size of the screen. All the way big, it's gonna be huge. Okay, now I'm gonna double click on my text and I'm gonna to go to scaling on the right side and I'm gonna change it to text up or down, which is gonna make it get really big. When this theme is applied, go to theme and apply this to your song. It's too big for me, I'm going back. Command Z to the rescue. <laughs> This worship audience look needs to be applied to the first slide of each song we sing. This is just as easy as right clicking, going to add action, audience look, and selecting worship. Not hard, but there is an easier way. In the bottom right of the interface, we see this M, which stands for the macros panel. Let's create a new macro plus, and we're gonna call it look worship. Adding the title look makes it easier to remember that this is a look. 
in a future update, we're gonna be able to group macros into folders and I'm gonna create a folder called audience looks. But currently in version 7.10.4, we don't have that feature. Now in the new macro, we need to do what we almost had to do for every new song. Right click, go to add action, audience look, worship. You can give the macros a bright color, which will help you see them easily on the slide. And now for every new song, drag the macro to the first slide. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, remove action, audience look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag my new worship look macro to the first slide. And there we go. To dive one step deeper into audience looks, we can create and name as many looks as we want. I typically only have a single audience look that I use for worship, but recently I used this scrolling text effect on a slide at a youth conference. The song had me repeat the same slide for four slides, so I thought this was a more creative approach. If you didn't know, one of the best ways to create themes is by right clicking on a slide, ideally one that you've already formatted, go to theme, select the theme group, then add selection to theme. We're also gonna create a new look, which is also called presets. I'm gonna create a new preset, right click, and I'm gonna rename it uh, Worship Scrolling Text. And now on the main output, I'm gonna select under the presentation or the theme, I'm gonna select the Worship Scrolling Text effect that I just uh, saved from the file that I actually did at the conference. And now for the stream output, we're just gonna select lower third stream. We don't need none of that scrolling content on the live stream, that'll just be crazy. In the room it's great, on the stream it's nuts. So we have our look, now let's go ahead and create a macro. We're gonna call it uh, look worship scrolling text. Change our color to match the last one, roughly. <laughs> and now we're going to add our effect just like we did the last time. There we go. Okay, so this effect is only gonna need applied on specific slides of the song. At the conference, I deleted the four slides that were duplicates, and I added this effect to the remaining single slide. I'll pick this uh, random slide in the chorus here, and I'll just go ahead and drag this look to that slide. And just like everything else, once we apply this special audience look to a slide via a macro, it doesn't need re-triggered unless some other action changes it. This also means we need to reapply the worship look macro on the next slide so that the slides go back to normal. Or, hear me out here, this could be the new style of worship. We just go from one slide to the next and they just keep scrolling and impacting. On second thought, let's just go ahead and drag this look worship to the next slide. Now we've got our special effect slide and now we've got our normal slide text happening on the next slide. I have another video in my streaming with ProPresenter 7 series where we create two more looks to output lower third sermon notes and scriptures. This way we can have a theme for scriptures to display the reference in a box and the notes will, they don't need the reference. So listen up for just a moment. That's as far as I'm gonna go with this basics to streaming with ProPresenter 7 video. If you were expecting this video to contain cameras or how to send a transparent output to a video switcher or actually sending a stream to a streaming platform. Those videos exist in this series and the links are gonna be in the description. However, the real power of using ProPresenter 7 to stream is using audience looks to assign themes to outputs. Then we can easily change them to display all of our content in a unique format for each output. That is the best part of streaming with ProPresenter 7. I'm Nathan and thank you for joining me on this journey of helping teams and individuals do church and event production with excellence. See you next time.